Suppose if you are wondering how to make use of the REST APIs in order to fetch the details of the lookup, if you want to make use of the REST APIs in order to import a lookup, export a lookup and manage other aspects of the lookup with the help of REST API, then we will show how to do the same in this class. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle that is on using REST APIs for Oracle Integration 3. From the table of content under tasks, we have to go to integrations and then under that there is a lookup section. You have to click on this. Here there are various REST APIs for administering a lookup like cloning a lookup, creating a lookup, deleting a lookup, exporting a lookup, importing a fresh lookup, how to overwrite a existing lookup, how to retrieve a lookup, how to retrieve multiple lookups that is in general all the lookups it will fetch from the instance. Then retrieve the usage of the lookup who and all are using this lookup like the integrations and how to update the lookup. Suppose if you want to update a lookup, so this is the API which we have to use and there is a sample also provided by Oracle how to update an existing lookup. Here they are providing the sample in the JSON and the JSON sample is provided over here. Basically you have to provide the details of all the columns. Suppose if you are having two, three columns, then you have to provide the details for that column and the array separated objects for each column row. Like if you are having a couple of rows over here, if I show you this lookup in my case. I'm having two columns over here with the name domain name one and the domain name two. I have to provide details like domain name one and domain name two and in the rows we have to provide the value for all the lookup. Even if you are updating a lookup every time we have to provide all existing value as well as the new value. Here append doesn't work. You have to always update and send entire JSON data with all the content of the lookup. Suppose if you are updating only one record then also you have to provide the details for all the previous records as well and at the end we have to provide the name. So in this class we will just show you how to retrieve the lookup that is how to get the contents of the lookup with the help of this API. So rest of the things you can make use like how Oracle has documented over here. For demonstration purpose we are picking this retrieval lookup API from this lookup section. So here is the API which is having this HTTP method get and here is the relative URI. We have to send the name. In the name is the lookup name. So lookup name in our case is the sample lookup this is we have to send. And coming to the query parameter, if you want to expand something, then you can expand. So we will create a Postman project and retrieve the content of this lookup that is sample lookup in our case. I have created the sample over here that is I have provided the integration region OCP details followed by the relative URI that is what mentioned over here relative URI name I have provided the my lookup name that is sample underscore lookup then in the query parameter I am sending the integration instance name. So this is how we have to form the URL in detail we had seen how to construct this URL and also about the authentication that is access token in our previous class please check out the class if you have missed that class. Now if I click on this send I will get the details of all the things for this lookup like I am having two columns that is column one and the column two if I scroll down. I will get the row count. Currently I am having two rows over here one two I am getting the details but I am not getting the data what is present in the row. So in order to expand the row or get the row information this is the same API which we have to use just we have to make use of the expand query parameter over here. Suppose if you want to know what expand is supported over here then you can just go to this update a lookup here if you see the sample. So we want to expand the row data for our lookup. So we will expand this let me just copy the keyword here I will put the ampersand and I will write expand and then I will paste row data click on send. So this is not supported I think it's uh, data row. Yeah click on send. Yeah here if you see I have provided the expand data row query parameter and here if you see we are seeing the rows. That is the row data, first row data and the second row data. Whatever we have information 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, all those things are available over here. Suppose if you want to update the lookup, just copy from this retrieval lookup information, add a new entry to your lookup like this phase you have to repeat this object and provide the new row data. Suppose if you are updating a column itself, then you have to copy paste this column information over here. This you have to copy and if you are adding a new column, then you provide the comma and provide the new column name. So all those things you can do. So this was in short how to get the data or the content of a lookup with the help of REST API and also if you want to retrieve information of a lookup with the help of REST API.